Hi everyone, MJ Klein here. I know I'm usually not on at this hour, wherever you are in the world, but I wanted to mention something because <clears throat> this is, I love it when I find out about a great product that I never knew about. And uh, those of you who follow me know that I have been an audio engineer and recording engineer for many, many years. I've been in the audio business over 40 years. I've been in the music business all my life. And uh, I used to use uh, a lot of vintage equipment, especially microphones, Norman microphones, U, 67s, 87s, uh, you know, you name it. So, Matthew, how you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Um, <clears throat> I'm not planning on staying on a long time. This isn't a regular show. But what I wanted to do was get something out there to YouTube that people could, <clears throat> excuse me, could search on and find. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm still cold. I went back to the doctor today. I still have a cold. Put me on three three days uh, more medicine. Anyway, you can uh, understand how astonished I was having uh, an extensive, long, you know, career. So, hey, Ken, how you doing? Thanks for joining, you guys. Uh, you know, the, as long as my career is, and you guys know this, you know, in your own professional realm, when you, if you find out about a new tool that you never heard of and it's and it's fantastic, you're like, wow, what happened? And you want to tell people about it. Oh, okay, cool. Well, thanks for joining. There is a Taiwanese company called JTS. I have never heard of them, ever. They've been in business for 35 years. They are, are a very high level, high quality and professional audio. It's not consumer audio. Dave, how you doing? All right. Well, we got the whole gang here, so thank you. Uh, yes, they're, they're a, um, a professional level uh, pro audio company. And I found out about them. And actually, our own Dave in Osaka played a major role in this. But let me show you the box. Now, this is it. The JTS-1. Look at this, uh, here, this word here, tube. This is what's so amazing about this microphone. And I'll get to that in just a second. But JTS, I never heard of. And this microphone is called the JS-1. That's a 1. And they don't put a space. But I, I, when I write it, I put a space. So it's JS-1 tube. It is an actual tube preamplifier large format or large uh, capsule condenser microphone this is it it actually is blue this is the mic right here i'm a good 25 centimeters away from it and i have a noise gate on so we got, i got the the uh traffic noise coming in here today but i gotta tell you um dave was here two days ago and we plugged this mic in and it blew us away now, let me tell you why Dave was involved. I, I really appreciate this so much. Um, a friend of mine in Taiwan hit me up to the fact that, in many cases in Japan, microphones are cheaper than they are in Taiwan and even other places in the world, and we don't know why. Uh, so I asked Dave, because I knew he was coming here, would you mind checking and seeing if you could find one of these? Okay, and he did. This came from Dave. He took it here on his carry-on. I owe you a huge debt of gratitude. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Dave. The thing is, is I'm going to be using this microphone on recordings, uh, you know, obviously for vocals. But you can appreciate, I mean, how good this thing sounds on the air. I have no EQ on. Now, uh, it also has a, uh, a low-end roll-off roll filter. This side here is a 10 dB pad. And it has a, hey, John, how you doing? It has a 10 dB pad, and if you're putting it in front of like a, lar a, like a loud guitar amp, you can pop that in and it drops it down. But it has an unprecedented 135 decibel capacity, so you can pretty much stick it up the tailpipe of a jet if you wanted to. Now, let me show you a couple of things. Uh, my EQ is flat. Um, believe it or not, the th th this is what kills me, okay? As a tube preamp microphone, Normally, they're in the $1,500 to $2,000 range. And if you are buying some of these Lomos from Russia, you're buying the Telefunkens and the Sheps and the Neumanns from Europe, they're thousands more than that. Some of these original microphones are five, ten, dollars and up to $20,000 and more for these vintage microphones. This, the quality of this mic falls within that range. But the price, believe it or not, so... Oh, I'm so yeah. The first two messages, because it takes like uh, it takes like uh, one minute or two minutes for the a API calls to go through. Sorry, John, didn't see him. Um, the microphone's retail price is about two hundred. Excuse me, uh, it's five hundred dollars, I believe. 
The problem is I haven't been able to find it on Amazon. See, this is why I want to talk to people about this. This thing's unknown and it's incredible. We need to, you know, to tell people about it because this is a this is every bedroom recording studio's dream microphone. You can have the Neumann tube sound. You can have the large capsule condenser microphone in your studio for about five hundred dollars, which is what people are paying for for a you know a good uh, interface, you know. So uh, anyway, uh, 10, 10 dB pad on this side, and there's a roll off on this side. And so what that does is roll off the bass frequencies. But in Taiwan, this microphone is about 15,000 NT. And believe it or not, Dave and Osaka found it for half that. And so uh, it was like uh, 250 bucks. Incredible. It's the best 250 bucks I think I've ever spent on a piece of equipment. In addition to that, it has a remote power supply and a 10 meter cable. So you can remote this thing kind of far away from where the power supply box is. And the power supply box has the audio output. You don't plug the audio into the mic. You plug the control cable in. And the reason there's a control cable, I don't think there's a picture of it on here. Uh, no, it's because, uh, actually it is right here. Because, let me just show you. The power supply has a, uh, see if I can see, let me see if I can get that over here, yeah. The power supply has a switchable patterns, nine switchable patterns. They're incredible. So you can get anywhere from omnidirectional through figure eight to, cardi to cardioid. Uh, cardioid being in the center, and if you turn it to the left, it's, uh, you turn it to the left, it's uh, uh, omnidirectional over to the right. It is, in fact, figure eight, and there's detents all the way through, so you can get like hybrid patterns you know, with different, I've got all kinds, of, it's so sensitive, I've got stuff rustling here. So this microphone is absolutely incredible. Now, let me just show you this. I'm going to turn the, this is British uh, two-band EQ. I'm going to turn the high end up because I want you to hear uh, the range that uh, comes out of the microphone. And so if I just keep going like this and like this and like this, I can get so much high end and sibilance and that it's, it's ridiculous. But it means that the microphone is capable of, of, uh, of producing frequencies that, that can be attenuated and accentuated and boosted uh, by that band. Same with, uh, same with the bass. If I turn the bass up all the way, it's, it's incredible. So, yeah, now watch what happens if I turn the bass up and the treble. This is a very, yeah, 94.5 FM kind of sound, you know. So, anyway, I'm going to back it down because... For live stream, it's ridiculous. Now we're just in, in the center range. And if I heavily compress this, uh, of course, some of the background noise comes up. And then you get that really uh, squished kind of sound. But I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it so hot. So this is the, the company's jts.com.tw. Don't forget the, the .tw because all Taiwan companies, you know, uh, that have Taiwan domains are all .tw. That, that's the country domain. jts.com dot tw look for the js1 tube js-1 tube the title you know has it spelled correctly it is a beautiful microphone the color of it is just uh even dave I, you know you were here and you saw it it's really beautiful in person but let me show you the, the last thing before i forget i want to show you another picture of this on the outside because i can't really show you this one the microphone has this little red window on it here and it shines the tube through that. So especially if you're working at night with the lights down in the studio, you got your tube, you know, the 12AX7A vacuum tube or valve, as they say in uh, Europe, shines through there. There's a little window for the tube. And uh, I can see it glowing right now. Now, you never, ever want to use a microphone like this without a pop filter. It does come with one of the, you know, the big... Uh, um, mushroom head kind of uh of um windscreens i gen generally don't like those i like the i like the pop filter and it i just uh, i like the way it works very effective and i, I like the way I like the way it looks better and it also keeps me from getting too 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 close because i can't get closer with the other one and you know when you're uh when you're singing vocals you want to try to maintain as uh as consistent distance from the microphone as possible because you do get Proximity effects, especially on these larger um, capsule uh, uh, condenser mics, as you get really close, the bottom end goes up considerably. 
And so you just want to make sure that you're not always goofing, you know, with the EQ just because your you know proximity is changing. So I'm going to do some reviews on this later. I'm going to do some uh, some some tests, but the, I'm not like a a lab kind of guy. I'm not going to give you you know oscilloscope waveforms to look at. What I'm going to be doing is cutting tracks with this thing, and I do have another condenser microphone here that is a large uh, diaphragm also but it's not quite as large as this one and the quality is nowhere near and it's a it's a cheaper microphone but it's it is this one and uh, i can do some comparison comparison tests between the two there's no functions on this it is simply a a cardioid and it is a tascam dm80 which is which is a cheap version of actually a, a pretty nice design but this one looks more like a neumann this one here the, J, uh, the JTS microphone looks like nothing else. It, it was designed completely to be its own animal. And the body of it is contoured. It's not straight. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some high-quality photos with my uh, Nikon camera. And I'm going to show you what, what the thing really, really looks like. Because it, it is a beautiful microphone. You can kind of see a, you know, uh, the shape of it. It's actually um, tapered at the top. And it has the uh, uh, the word tube on the, on the bottom. It comes with the um, what we call the spider. It comes with the uh, shock mount. It does not come with the uh, you know, like a an ABS plastic carrying case. But for five hundred bucks, who cares? And they do make one, so you could order it. Um, so they're available. Anyway, thanks so much for uh, joining me. Thanks for watching, and, and uh, I hope that. Uh, this live stream has been useful to try to get people to uh, be able to find this mic. Uh, that might be that might be part of the problem. But what you can do is if you go to jts.com.tw and you look at the mic, you search on the mic, they do have a link that you can look for dealers worldwide, and hopefully you'll be able to find one. And if you can't, well, maybe I can help you get one from Taiwan. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. This is MJ Klein for Taiwan Live TV. Thank you. I absolutely love this mic. Absolutely love this mic.